with our busy careers and full social lives, we felt we really needed a full-time housekeeper. What do you think of our home? Lovely. Last place I was had bars in the windows and a big wall with guard dogs. <laughs> Sounds like quite a security system. The best. San Quentin. <laughs> Fifteen years I spent in that stinking hole. I saw violence. I saw despair. I saw Johnny Cash eight times. Well, I guess that concludes the interview, unless there are any questions. I have a question. Does Johnny Cash ever wear plaid? It's not her fault. She's from Minnesota. We'll be in touch. Oh, girls, we have interviewed dozens of people. We haven't met one likely candidate. Well, maybe our standards are too high. May I help you? Uh, yes. Does the mean-looking white woman I just passed live here? Oh, no. Oh, then I come to apply for the housekeeping position. Please, please, come right in. Thank you. I'm Marguerite Brown. Oh, I'm Dorothy. Hello. These are my roommates, Blanche, Rose. Please, sit down. Oh, thank you. Well, why don't you begin by telling us a little about yourself? Well, there isn't much to tell. I'm hardworking and honest, and I'll work for a reasonable wage. That's it? <laughs> All right, I won't go on with this charade any longer. There is something else. I'm black. <laughs> Now, if that's a problem for you, I'm white. <laughs> of course, that'll cost you extra. <laughs> oh, Marguerite, I could kiss you. And I don't go for that freaky stuff. <laughs> Neither do Dorothy and I. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello? Oh, hello, Norman, darling. Are we still on for tonight? But, but you said we... But you promised. I see. All right. Bye-bye. I don't understand. That's the second time Norman is canceled. Maybe he's not interested. Not interested? Don't be silly. I am the most attractive and available woman in all of Miami. Now that Miss Donna Rice has moved to Hollywood. <laughs> I don't mean to pry, but maybe I know a way to get Norman's attention. If it involves silk sheets and a parochial school outfit, I've already tried it. <laughs> Here, take this. It's worked for my grandmother. It's worked for my mother. Dab a little behind your ears and whomever you desire will come to you. What is it? It's a gift. Keep it. Marguerite, if you're trying to bribe me, there's no need. As far as I'm concerned, you have the job. Fine with me. Oh, me too. Can you start tomorrow? I'll be here bright and early. Uh, we'll <laughs> see you then. Right. Uh, you be sure and use that just like I told you now. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Bye. Bye now. Oh, what an absolutely charming woman. I wonder what this is she gave me. I'll bet it's a love potion. Oh, Rose, come on, honey. There's no such thing as a love potion. Sure there is, Dorothy. My grandparents got together because of a love potion. Well, actually, it was a foot salve Gramps accidentally <laughs> swallowed. <laughs> You see, Grandma was the nurse who pumped his stomach, but she was new and she attached the nozzle to the wrong place. <laughs> Next thing you know, they were engaged. Well, I don't care what's in this. It's worth a try. I'll do anything to get Norman's attention. Yeah, well, if you get Norman's attention, it won't be because of what is in that bottle. But if it does, I'll sell my mother for an ounce. <laughs>